Let's look at finding areas and percentiles for the chi-square distribution using a table. Let's jump right to it here and find the 2 and a half and 97 and a half percentile of the chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom. Our chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom is going to look something along those lines. And the 2 and a half percentile is going to be the value over here that yields an area to the left of 0 0.025. And the 97.5 percentile is going to be the value over here that yields an area to the left of 0.975 and an area to the right of 0 0.025. This value here, in my notation, we call chi-square 0 0.025, the chi-square value with 0 0.025 off to the right. This value over here, we're going to call chi-square 0.975, because it has an area of 0.975 off to the right. Now we're going to go to our table and find those values. My chi-square table is made up of two pages. One page giving chi-square values in the left tail of the distribution, and the other page giving chi-square values in the right tail of the distribution. Now, we wanted chi-square 0.025. This value is one of the values we needed with 6 degrees of freedom. 6 degrees of freedom. And when we walk along here, we find the appropriate value is 14.449. The other value we needed was chi-square 0.975. And if we go along with 6 degrees of freedom, we find that the appropriate value is 1.237. And so our chi-square table has told us that this value over here in the left tail of the distribution is 1.237 and this value over here in the right tail of the distribution is 14.449. These are corresponding to these two chi-square values that we're going to need in different spots. And in other words, this is the 97.5th percentile and this is the 2.5th percentile. And we're going to use that in different spots like calculating a confidence interval for a variance. Let's look at a different type of problem here. What is the area to the right of 18.9 under a chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom? Well, our chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom looks something like this. And a value of 18.9 I know is going to be out in the right tail. It's about 18.9, but we could check that out in a table and see where that is as well. So let's try and find this area, the area to the right of 18.9 under our chi-square distribution. Recall what we need to find is the area to the right of 18.9 under a chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom. And when I go to my 6 degrees of freedom line, it's very unlikely that I'm going to find exactly the value I'm looking for. But what I can find is two values that surround that value this particular time. I have 18.9, which falls in between these two values in the table. This is important because if we look at 18.458, say, what this is telling me is that at 18.548, the area to the right is in the subscript here, 0 0.005. And the value beside it, 22.458, at 22.458, the area to the right is 0 0.001. Now, 18.9 falls in between these two values. And so it only stands to reason that the area to the right of 18.9 falls between these two values. So what we just found from our table is that this area that we need must be less than 0 0.005, but greater than 0 0.001. If we need to get a little bit more precision than that, we would have to put it into a computer. What is the area to the left of 0 0.5 under a chi-square distribution with 3 degrees of freedom? Well, I'm going to draw out my chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. It looks something like this. And I happen to know that 0 0.5 is actually a small value under a chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. But we could find that out from a table if we looked at the values given there. And what we need to find is this area here. That's what we want to find. We're looking for the area to the left of 0 0.5 under a chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. And when I go over here to my 3 degrees of freedom line, I'm going to find that 0 0.5 falls in between these two values. Why is that important to me? Well, the table tells me that at 0 0.352, at 0 0.352, the area to the right is 0 0.95, this value given in the subscript. And so the area to the left is 0 0.05. And right beside it at 
0 0.584, 0 0.584, the value given in the table, the area to the right is 0 0.9. And so the area to the left has got to be 0 0.10. And since 0 0.5 falls in between 0 0.352, and 0 0.584, then the area to the left of 0.5 must lie between 0 0.05 and 0 0.10. And so the table has just told us that this area here is less than 0 0.10 and greater than 0 0.05.